Hello everybody and welcome to Furcani FX where I'm gonna show you today how to create this uh, glitchy uh, transition called Datamosh. Um, for making this you're only gonna need imagination <laughs> basically because um, it depends on you alright it's up to you how about you want this effect to be uh, I'm gonna show you how to make the basic thing and if you want it to be more complex or whatever you just can't keep on playing with the values or adding uh, some extra glitchy footage or whatever and uh, this is a medium tutorial because um, it's not as hard as it looked like. It's it looks like uh, it was a little bit hard for me to to find out how to make it in After Effects without any kind of plugging or whatever. Uh, but it's much easier than what it looks like. All right, so uh, I have here my composition, and uh, you have to see where you want. I'm gonna cut over here. That's me, holy crap, I look so dumb, like that. <laughs> this is from a project, a 60s, 50s, 60s based project I'm working on. And I want my data mosh to start over there, so I'm gonna cut there. And I will also cut over here, because here is where I want my data mosh to finish. So uh, you should go to the first frame, the very first frame, and you should freeze the frame in there right so we have already freezed and now we we take our second composition and I want my data mush to start over there um, this effect is much better if uh, the second video has some move alright I'm gonna show you how to make it with move but if if your second video doesn't have any kind of camera shake you can just skip this step the, this step will be tracking but first let me take a selfie nah just kidding <laughs> first I'm gonna cut there alright and uh, we wanna track this okay so we're gonna create a new uh, null object over there cut it there alright and we wanna track the no not track camera follow move that it's much easier um, the smaller this uh, frame is, the faster the tracker will be. So don't make the mistake that I made that was creating a very big frame so that it has an awesome tracking because that will be so unnecessary slow, you know? So just create a small frame over here in an array that has some contrast. Actually, I'm gonna put it here. has more contrast between the, the areas. I'm gonna click there. And we wanna do this tracking because we want our first video to track the the first one. And don't worry if the track the track is imperfect because uh, there's no need to. Just you know the to make the idea because um, you'll see you'll see why we're doing this. Right, so we finish. Uh, I don't know why did it stop though. So I'm going to. Just move it a little bit, all right. Um, we're gonna come here and make sure that it applies to the null that we created, except and we're going to apply it, all right. Okay, so we see that now our null object is tracking our first video, in this case, is my tie. And what we want to do is bring the null object down, and we want to go to the very first frame and track the, the second video, track it to the null object. So we will see that now this moves. And we will see that we have this annoying edges over here and we don't want that. So we're gonna take this effect over here that uh, in English I think it's called motion tile. And if it isn't called motion tile just come to select it come to fed and um, stylize um, over here you should find it so it's motion tile I think it was called um, we're gonna put a li little bit higher these values and also we're gonna click here so that it reflects um, you know it will be it's a little bit you know fa false fake but um, nobody will realize <laughs> when they, the whole thing is done Alright, so now that we have our video tracked, uh, the next thing that we should do is uh, make some 
make some copies of of the original footage I'm gonna create two by now and I'm gonna turn invisible the first one and the first thing that we're gonna do is take the threshold threshold I don't know how you pronounce that the CC threshold effect put in the top and the idea is to make our subject white and leave the background black so Thing, something like that, yeah, I think something like that will be cool. And we want this to start over here, so we're gonna take these two videos and start the both of them over there. So now we wanna take this um, over here, over the half of the video. We wanna set a keyframe on the threshold, go to the next keyframe and then set a lower value so that more more part of the image is shown um, what do we want to do with this? okay now we want to go to the one above at the bottom and put it a uh, luma mate I think it's luma mate anyway the third option of this four we have here so we will see that this appears part of the image is shown all right looks nice and um, now we want to make um, another copy and um, we want to we're gonna turn this on visible and now we want to take again the threshold effect um, we want to start it maybe over there yeah over that's all right um, we want to put a very low value something like that but we don't want to take luminance we want to take RGB so something like this maybe even less right really really low value and we want to set it to um, darken I don't know how this called this effect anyway uh, write the one on top of multiply so you set it and you will see that we have these highly saturated pixels and we go again to the half of the video we set a keyframe on there go uh, to the next keyframe and then uh, put a higher value something like that alright uh, maybe I could even take this Where's the keyframe set? Over here. Maybe I could put even a little bit of lower value. Yeah, I think it looks cool like that. Alright, and uh, the next thing that we should do is take the or last copy that we have here that we that is set to um that is set to normal yeah, and it's invisible and make sure that it's invisible. And also make sure that it doesn't have any effect, all right? Because we're gonna create now a new adjustment layer. We're gonna put it right on top of the last video that we have, and we're gonna create a displacement map here. Displacement map, all right. I'm gonna only turn on this too. Um, make sure that you you select the layer that is uh, this one, the second one, the the video that we left that doesn't have any effects and it's invisible. Select that one. Make sure that you take both to luminance and put. I think over there it's okay. Five and five, and maybe even less. Only one 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 and keyframe both of them go to the end and put very high value to that uh, maybe a little bit the horizontal make a very high value but the horizontal not that high maybe only 10 something like that so we will see that this makes uh, a displacement on our map and then when our wall composition is seen we can see how it makes this transition, this glitch transition that we want. 
Maybe I think that even we could take the the layer that we have here of RGB and put a little bit less. Well, sorry, not from here. We have to take it here from our second keyframe. Put a little bit less so that it doesn't have that saturation. And maybe even we can get this one just to make it look even worse. Set a keyframe over here, right there, go to the next frame, and something like that. And after this, we should have uh, already done our data mush effect. So um, I know that's, that this effect maybe is some that not much we're looking for, but I've seen in YouTube and um, there were many that were looking for this effect to may to be done in After Effects without any kind of plugin. So I hope that you enjoyed and uh, this is useful for you sometimes. So again, if you need any tutorial of whatever, just let me know because uh, who knows, maybe I can help you. And uh, make sure that you subscribe and like this video so that uh, I can keep um, uploading more. And thanks for your time and I hope that I'll see you in my next tutorial. So, see ya!